Namaste my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Enlightened Existence with Tanet, where I just talk about casual spiritual things and I vlog spiritual ideas about my life. And this week I found a dead, a not dead, a really weak opossum in front of my doorstep after a rainstorm. And around my house we have about four cats and we have two cats that are ours. And apparently I didn't even see this opossum in the first place. I came from a video shoot at a wedding and the front door was the, the lights weren't on in the front door. And I went to put some stuff in the house and came back and I look on the ground. There's this thing lying and I'm like, is it, is that opossum dead? And I was kind of like startled because like opossums usually run away from you when you see them. They're like, and leave. He was just lying there and I was like, I was looking at his stomach. I don't, I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, I'm gonna call it a he. He was lying there and I see his stomach going up and down. So I'm like, okay, this thing's still alive, but it's not moving, it's, it's leg broken. Well, what I did was like, I stood there. I'm like, I know opossums have tons of fleas, which they, which he did, but I went and poked him and I was like, oh, he's still alive. And I was kind of like, okay, I start, I didn't even finish my stuff. I just like, what do I do now? Okay. And I'm thinking hmm, I could leave him there and allow the universe to take over, of course. But then my other consciousness was like, this, this opossum is here for a reason as a lesson for me. And it's teaching me unconditional love for everything. And that I could either ignore and allow the universe to take over, or I could allow that universal presence to express through me as an instrument and take action in this thing. I can help this opossum, but I didn't know how. First thing I did, I poked it and it started moving slightly, but obviously it was really injured and the tail had like a bite mark of like cats biting. I was like, oh, it's not running away, but it's really hurt. So what I did, I just, I got some cat food and I poured it into a bowl and put it next to the opossum. And guess what? It started eating the cat food. And I was like, okay, so it's not dead, but here's what happened. I give it the food, it doesn't eat it yet. So I pushed the bowl right in front of its face and it smelled it, start eating the food. And what it did was this, it chewed the food and then out of nowhere, it would just, lay back down like a zombie like it was really weak but it was still eating so i was like okay this thing's still alive but really weak and in my heart i wanted to do something about it because it was the right thing to do like my compassionate heart said this opossum is here for me to serve that's what i did so what happened was we have a cat cage we were i was gonna put him in a box first but there was no big bo box big enough this, this thing was pretty big so i got a shovel because i didn't want to touch a wild animal. I don't know about rabies or anything. I got a big shovel and a shoe and I just sh shoveled him into the shovel and I put that shovel into the cage and I I, lo I, I locked him in there with food and I was like, I couldn't, and, and so I left him there with food and he just, you know, after a while I, I went and check up on him and he was still breathing. So that means a good sign. And then I began to Google where could I take this thing? Well, I found out there's this called Texas Wild Wildlife Rehabilitator Center or something like that, that takes in wild animals without charge. But of course I donated because, you know, I believe in this cause and it's like helping my brother. When I saw that opossum, I saw my brother who needed help and I did, and he was dying but he was breathing when I woke and I couldn't even go to sleep because I was thinking, is, uh, is that possum gonna die? Or But I stayed positive because, you know, the possum needed my prayers and my positivity. And so eventually I checked up on him and in the morning I wake up, this thing pooed all over the cage. Before I put him in a cage, he would start crawling away, but not like half a feet. But I didn't, if I let him stay outside, the cat might eat him or something. So I put him in a cage and, and so when I wake up, he's in that cage with all his poop. And I was like, okay, we're gonna go to this Texas Wildlife Rehabilitator. And I get there, everyone's really nice. And the, I guess the vet told me that he is really weak. I told him it's possibly a cat, possibly cats attacked, most likely. And they say that cats are the main, like, contributor to wildlife like a uh, suffering I guess but the main thing is that I could have just left that opossum under a tree but I didn't because my heart is like 
this thing is hurt and I could do something about it. And a spiritual lesson is that I surrendered to my infinite potential. I could have, because I realized the loving presence, the infinite presence, you know, the thing that's the positivity in my life. I use that positivity to reason by doing this, I'm showing my commitment to doing the right thing, the good thing, the thing that makes me feel good about life. Because once you save a life, you actually raise your consciousness and your vibration. And it was just a good experience. And they even clean out the poop out of the cage for me. And in return, I donated. Oh, well, I donated before they do all that. And it was a great experience. And if you see an injured animal, help him out. If you see a homeless, give them anything. And if you don't have anything, give them your prayer. If you see somebody struggling, give them a smile. You don't have to give them money at all. You could give them money and that would help. But sometimes all we need is just to share this inspiration and compassion because that's what heals the world. And that seems so generic. But as you begin, as, as we begin to practice these things as smiling to random people, being hopeful about things and not being negative all the time just accepting okay there will be maybe negativity but we're going to be happy because at least we're not dying and that when there's people dying helping them would help them out and help you feel that you have purpose in this world peace and blessings so if you have any more any questions comments i would love it if you just subscribe because i have fun doing this and you can help inspire me <laughs> peace and blessings namaste